glasses. I've got, you got your classic milk bone if you didn't brush your teeth this morning, Chuck. We've got that. Oh, he's being very careful about his choice. That's interesting, I huh? I think he likes the molasses one. Really? all suck. That's the one, yeah. though. Oh, he's oh, going for the no. molasses. Okay, really? Sheila. Really? Honey nut and molasses. <laughs> oh. I think, I think uh, uh, the kink spo spokes plug has spoken. start the morning. We were all called out by a mutual friend, the author of Adulting, and she has done something really wrong. She's challenged us to eat dog biscuits live. Now, we, I really appreciate the fact that you've bought a nice bottle of Pinot along. Because so <laughs> <laughs> nothing goes better with dog biscuits than a good, good exactly. glass of Pinot. No. And Charlie, the dog, our dog, uh, chose these little molasses ones as his favorites. But I, my friends, have these big cookies with cream in them as well. And he preferred to have something that's colorful and beautiful. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> so now, Sheila, before, while the guys are contemplating their choices, why don't you give the website again and explain what, why are you eating a dog biscuit this morning? Because it's for Oregon Humane Society. They're doing something at OregonHumane.org where you can challenge friends to eat a dog biscuit or give money. We're going to... Eat a dog biscuit. <laughs> we're in the and and, yes, and, and we we're going to encourage you, King community, please support the <laughs> Sheila Lee and uh, and Byron's effort this morning to choke down a dog biscuit and make a make a generous uh, donation. Uh, to all right, uh, Lee, yeah. can you tell us first which choice you're going with? I'm going to actually go with the authentic milk bone and honor my grandmother and her poodle. Okay. Oh, that's a that's and, a very touching. Choice. And Byron, which one are you choosing? I'm going with the little chocolate nibby thing in honor of my babies, <laughs> Oscar. Uh, 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 Jade and uh, Sassy, who I've all passed. And I'm oh. going with a big, what almost looks like one of those cheap cookies you can buy at Safeway in the 300 pack. <laughs> yes. Because it has cream inside. <laughs> I love those cookies. <laughs> it's going to, it looks like this may take me a while to get it down. Gentlemen, come in very close to the microphone okay. as we take the doggy biscuit challenge. Here we go. Mm, I actually <laughs> like mine. I, really? I might have a second one. Well, it's kind of a molasses Mine? and honey nut flavor there, Byron. Not bad, not bad either. It's I am, I'm having a second one. Byron's going for two. Oh, my God. Very nice, Byron. Mine is, there. Mine is has this very strange poisonous aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be the pink. You're just tasting the pink, Sheila, that's all. But you have such a shiny coat, too. Yeah. <laughs> I really feel like I need to go pee on a hydrant right now. <laughs> who must eat a dog biscuit or give to the Oregon Humane Society. My picks are Cheryl Strayed, yep, you've been called, Charlie Hales, the mayor of Portland, and Storm Large. Those are good picks. Very so nice. You know you have only 72 hours to do this, kids, so here's my mm -hmm. picks. My picks are <laughs> Nick Fish, city commissioner, Kimberly Weiskopf, she is a dog-eating biscuit person, <laughs> a dog biscuit-eating person at Channel 12, Fox 12, and then my partner, Juan Martinez. And uh, my pick would be, uh, you know, dogs, what do they love the most? They love the outdoors. So you got to go with Tim Boyle out at Columbia. Oh. Um, and then Bree Bridegum, who's a, an attorney here in town, and Bob Applegate up at OHSU. All right, guys, you've got 72 hours. Eat a biscuit or else. Just eat it, eat it, eat it. Get yourself an